All right, so this is the second time that I've tried to film this, so uh, I'm like seriously sitting in the middle of my housing, housing complex, I guess. This is a parking lot behind me just because I couldn't find anywhere at home to film, but that's okay, you know, sometimes you gotta have a different background. Hey everyone, so I thought that I would do an update on my life because I haven't done one of these in a while. And as you can see, it's been a while because my hair has finally grown out. It's, it's getting longer, finally. So I'm pretty excited about that. I hope you are too. Anyway, so first things first, I know in my last uh, vlog or my last updates kind of vlog, I was talking about how I'm job searching. I'm gonna graduate college soon. And you know, that whole, that whole phase of not knowing what you're gonna do after college kind of thing. And I was just so confused about life. Well, first news is that I found a job. So I started working about a month ago. I am working in the tech industry, but I am not personally in tech. I am doing marketing side. So I am doing like the graphic design stuff. I am doing the commercials. Like I'm doing all the things that I was basically doing at my previous job, which is amazing and great because this is exactly what I wanted to do. And this is where I wanted to be. And it's, it's really exciting because, you know, I don't, remember if I talked about it in my last updates but I had actually received a couple of offers for um, doing things like admin assistant doing a newspaper layout which was super fascinating but that was in Chicago I don't want to go to Chicago so I don't know I had received some offers to do a couple things and I turned them all down and I was starting to like really freak out especially during graduation I was like oh my gosh like I don't have a job coming out of college and I think one of the reasons that I was so freaking out is because my boyfriend, he is a CS major and he found a job straight out of college. Like he was ready to go within, you know, like a month of graduating or something like that. Maybe even earlier, I don't remember, but so he, yeah, he had a job lined up. And I, I think I was really trying to set myself up to be like that too. And I couldn't find one. So I was just like super freaking out. And then, yeah, I've, I had like my panic attacks and everything probably panic attacks will be another video but yeah it, you know it all worked out so I'm, I'm just really happy and I'm I'm glad that I chose to wait so if you're in that situation right now you know you just graduated in June or whatever you still have time like don't worry about it too much I was like job searching starting probably like I don't know March or something like that and it was a crazy, tedious process, but I am where I want to be now, and I'm so happy, and I'm so lucky, you know, to be in that situation. So I hope that you out there who just graduated college, or you're thinking about applying or something like that, it's okay to wait. It's okay to be patient. It's okay to find what you want to do and, like, wait for that. I think my bangs are getting a little bit too long. I should cut them soon. But yeah, you know, so it's okay. Just take your time. You know, you want to do something that makes you passionate about what you do. You want to do something that makes you happy. So you can do that, yeah. And then another thing that I wanted to talk about is, uh, I guess it's like dealing with a death. So what happened is my previous boss passed away and it was so hard for me to handle. It was so difficult. And I think like in the past, I've mentioned that I was working as a graphic design assistant at the International Center at UCSD. And my boss, Paul, was like the greatest boss. He was so nice and like super flexible. He taught me a lot of things about, you know, how to be like a better designer, but how to be a better person at the same time. Cause he's always like really funny, really accepting, like all these things. And then, so what happened is like, I saw him on Friday before I started my job on Monday, right? So it was the last time that I was gonna see him and I just wanted to say like, you know, thank you so much for teaching me so much. And like, he was part of the reason I got the job, I think because he was um, one of the people that recommended me. Uh, yeah, so I was just, you know, ecstatic and so excited about starting my job and I wanted to go back and tell him thank you. So we went to lunch and that time he like bought my lunch and I told him like, no, you know, I should be paying for your lunch kind of thing. He was like, no, it's okay. Like both of my bosses, they were like, or my previous bosses, you know. So they were like, no, it's okay. You can, you can treat us when you start your first job, when you get your first paycheck and whatever. And I was like, okay, yeah, you know, totally down to do that. So he bought me lunch and then we were just like sitting and talking and stuff. And it was just, it was just nice, you know. And at the time it was so weird because I had written him a thank you note and it was just, you know, thank you so much for teaching me so much and like, 
um, being my kind of like mentor and that kind of thing and I just forgot to give it to him and I was thinking oh it's okay I'm gonna see him next week because orientation was the following week and I was going to help out at orientation so I was like okay I don't need to give it to him you know it's no problem so Monday that was Friday and then I started work on Monday and then on Thursday I went to Irvine for work came back and on the way back like my one of my co-workers EE e., she was calling me my boss's boss Dulce she was calling me and I was just like what is going on like why are you calling me it's so weird and yeah I honestly I was just being super selfish and being like you know I'm working I'm working now like why are you calling me and I kept like ignoring their calls on on the way back from Irvine I wasn't driving so it was totally fine but yeah and um, as soon as I got back I was like looking through my text and EE e. had texted me and she wrote like you know I don't know how to tell you this but Paul passed away and I was just like what that doesn't even make any sense you know I just saw him on Friday and then um, yeah so I I called EE e. and she was like I don't really know how to explain it well because I don't know exactly what happened but yeah he passed away and I was just in shock like I didn't know how to handle that information and I was like that can't be true like that's just so weird it's just weird and then um, Dulce Paul's boss who's my boss's boss right so she called me after and she was telling me like Rina I'm so sorry like I really wanted to tell you this in person so that's why I haven't had a chance to tell you but you know I think you heard Paul passed away and I was just floored it was it was crazy and like a lot of people say I was absolutely gutted it was it was just heartbreaking and uh, she started crying on the phone I started crying and I was just like what happened you know I was just it was just it's so weird it's still weird to me like I I feel like it's just not real yeah so that was Thursday and like for the next I don't know week or two I was just so out of the zone I was just so out of it I was just you know wake up go to work come home make dinner like do my stuff go back like go to sleep do the same thing and I was just like on auto mode kind of thing and I was just trying to you know get myself like so I guess what I wanted to say before I got cut off by my stupid camera is you should really I know this is so cliche but you know treasure every moment that you have with everyone around you it's so it's so easy to get caught up in things on our day-to-day -day lives it's so easy to you know think that the little things are a big deal and want to get just wrapped up in this robotic like day-to-day -day thing and it's so easy to forget about the people around you that are supporting you and encouraging you and helping you make this happen you know helping you make your career happen or your academics happen or your just your life right but yeah it's so easy to forget about people around you but just try to cherish every moment that you have with them and hopefully you know it's, it's gonna happen like people pass away and that's that's just life life is death but you know hopefully when that does happen you can really think back to every moment that you've had with them and think that you know people around you have given you so much they have helped you to become the person you are and they've helped you to become the person that you are today and like they've helped you yeah they've just helped you to grow and they've taught you a lot and you have all these happy and positive experiences with people so it's always good to remember those kinds of moments and yeah I don't know what to say because this is I know like this is not going to be the last time that I deal with the death and this is kind of the first time that I've dealt with one that was just so kind of out of nowhere to me so yeah it's hard it's hard it was hard then it's still hard now and i really really hope that it gets easier but i don't think it will i think it's just like a you know you kind of learn how to cope with it a little bit better kind of thing <sighs> i don't know i feel like i'm trying to sound all philosophical but you know i'm still hurt i'm still heartbroken and hopefully hopefully it it passes yeah i guess that's what I'm trying to say is like there's always people there to support you there's always you know you have your friends you have your family and hopefully they can help you get through these kinds of things and you know if anything I'm here <laughs> so yeah just if you leave a comment I will go ahead and comment back if you want to message me I'll go ahead and message back so 
yeah, let's all be like a nice support group for each other for when these things, these unexpected and sad things happen. So I know that this was kind of perhaps a very depressing kind of update, but I just wanted to let you know, you know, this is where I'm at in my life and I think I think you deserve to know. I don't want to make my channel all about like the happy things and the travel things and of course, of course I want to show you everything good that I've been doing, you know, like traveling and my beauty stuff and my fashion stuff and whatever, but there's also things that go on that make me a human being. So I just wanted to let you know that's that's what I've been up to and yeah. Uh, it's kind of hard to say I hope you enjoyed this video, but I hope you learned a little bit more about me and you know the kind of person I am and the kind of person Paul was. So it was it was really interesting to film this for you. And something else that I wanted to say, like there's been a family that's been like passing through behind me, so it's been kind of awkward and like I heard the grandma maybe she said something like oh look she's filming like she's gonna send this to her family like the Adobe stuff and everything. This video takes ourselves <laughs> okay. So, okay. Well, yeah, I think my family will see this, but it's not directly to my family. Maybe it's like, you know, my you guys are my YouTube family, so I would give you a hug right now if I could, but I can't. So here's an air hug for you. And yeah, thank you so much for supporting me all the time. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Hello everyone, long time no see. Today we are going to a Padres game! I am super excited because I haven't been to see a baseball game since I was probably living in Ohio and that was at least 10 years ago. No, I think it's more. It's like maybe 12 years ago or something like that. So I'm quite excited and I hope you are excited too! Yay!